So now in chapter 13 he returns from Egypt into Canaan, and you'll notice verse 4, unto the place of the altar which he had made there at the first, and he calls on the name of the Lord again. He just keeps coming back again and again to the Lord. I guess the question that begs asking is, when can we stop going to the temple? When can we stop going to the house of prayer and taking the sacrament? When, when have we done enough? And I think Abraham would say, just keep going. Yeah. You just keep going. Um, and so now you get this interesting story between Lot and Abraham, and they've, they've prospered in Egypt. They've, they've got a lot of possessions, a lot of servants, a bigger household. They come into this land of Canaan, and there's obvious uh, discord between the, the keepers of the flocks and the different families, and, and you can see that this isn't going to work to have us in the same place, so Abraham says to Lot, you pick. Where do you want to go, and what does Lot pick? He picks the fertile valley of where the Jordan River flows is down towards where all the people are living down there because it's so fertile and there's water. So he goes that way and Abraham goes to the west, um, into the less fertile part. And this is that famous story of the, that you've probably heard in a seminary lesson or a Sunday school lesson um, in verse 12 of chapter 13, Abram dwelt in the land of Canaan, and Lot dwelt in the cities of the plain, and pitched his tent toward Sodom. It's that idea of putting your tent door, you pitch your tent towards the city of Sodom in this case. Well, the next thing we're going to hear about Lot is his family has moved into Sodom, and then the next thing is Sodom is going to have moved into his family. It's that progression of where do you, where do you pitch your, your tent facing, and many of you have probably had lessons uh, tying into King Benjamin's people where they, they were in their tent with the tent door facing the temple and facing God's prophet. Um, beautiful object lesson there for us to consider. And the, and the, the Hebrew word here, kind of the odd, when it says toward, it kind of indicates like it's going that direction, so uh, I, I think it probably is with the tent t door that, facing that. I don't know that we can tell that for sure, but it's certainly that that's where he's heading, right? That's his orientation, that's, that's the movement he's going, that's the direction he's, he's going. That's where he's going to end up, yeah. ultimately.